Common Computer Conventions in Vectorworks Many conventions common to most software are found in Vectorworks, as in word processors, email clients, and spreadsheets everywhere. These functions work as expected in Vectorworks as well. Delete. Select an object and press the backspace or delete key. Undo. If you make a mistake, choose Edit, Undo. Copy, Cut, Paste. All these conventions are present and work in Vectorworks in a familiar, reassuring way. Common CAD Concepts Selection. Use the Selection tool to select objects, to move and resize objects in any view, and to insert objects in or next to a wall. From the basic tool palette, select the Selection tool. Move the cursor into the document window and click on an edge of an object. While you're puttering about in the document window, each time the cursor crosses the edge of a selectable object, pre-selection highlighting indicates any objects that would be selected. To deselect or select more than one object at a time, click the pointer while holding the shift key down. An additional method, marquee selection, allows you to select any number of objects within the region on the screen. Press option on a Macintosh or alt on Windows while dragging with the pointer button depressed. This will toggle the selection state of all objects that are within the region or that intersect the marquee. Container Objects Container objects make creating or editing some types of representations more flexible because the simpler defining definitions that comprise the container are stored as part of or within the container. The benefit of the container concept is that you can revise or later replace simple defining objects inside the container without having to rebuild the object represented by the container from scratch. So, container objects store easy-to-edit objects as parameters that can be used to redefine or refine the container at any time. For example, to make a curb around a patio, you might imagine creating straight lengths of stock and somehow mitering the strips to each bend. Following a curve presents a challenge, as does the prospect of making a change later to the shape of the patio. Instead, a container object called extrude along path can be used to store a path representing the shape that a curb follows and a profile, which is a planar object in the form of a section through the curve. The extrude along path container object uses definitions to compute how the section looks as it follows the path. At any time later, you can access either the path or the profile independently to greatly simplify making design changes that the container will subsequently use. This concept is incorporated into all sorts of objects in Vectorworks, and once you become familiar with the behavior of one type of container object, you'll know what to expect whenever you encounter other types. Stacking order. As objects are drawn, the program keeps track of their stacking order within the design layer. The first object created is at the back of the stack, and the most recent object created is at the front of the stack. The send command change the stacking order of objects within a layer. Objects can be sent forward to be in front of an overlapping object or sent backwards to be behind an overlapping object. Also, objects can be sent all the way to the front or back in the stack in one step. Although this applies to all objects, the stacking effect is only seen when the projection is top plan and only with planar objects having a fill attribute other than none. Nevertheless, this feature is used to great effect throughout the design process to construct, create, and edit figures for details, plan projections, and viewport annotations. Hybrid Objects When working in Vectorworks, it's usually desirable to use hybrid objects because their properties make them able to have schematic graphic properties and realistic fully detailed properties. Hybrid objects combine the properties of 2D and 3D and are created with separate definitions for how they look in a plan view and how they look in other projections. When viewed in 2D plans, the schematic representation of the object is seen. When viewed in perspective or in another view such as an isometric projection, only the 3D portion is seen. Anyone using Vectorworks to show clients pre-visualizations and later fabricators how to build those designs can benefit from using hybrid objects.